Hey, Greg Garcia. How you doing? Yeah, she's night out, so. Mm. Excuse me. How rude. Why would I start a video when I'm still finishing off? Finishing off something. <laughs> I shouldn't be picking my tea. I've had dinner and I thought I'm going to have some dessert. So that means um, grab a cherry ripe out of the freezer. Don't even really like cherries that much. I don't eat don't eat much fruit at all, actually. Um, but don't mind the odd cherry ripe. Maybe it's the chocolate that makes up for it. <sighs> so I'm down the shed. It's been a very, um, a very, very emotional week. If you didn't know, um, I got three kids. Obviously, Andrew that I work with is my number one child. Um, but my number two child is uh, Casey, and. She just recently turned 30, and she's married um, to, was married to a fella called Bo, Bo Stokes, and great guy. They've got two little kids, my grandkids. Um, yeah, and basically... Um, yeah, we've recently lost Bo last Sunday, um, so it's, it's still very raw. He, uh, used to work his ass off for his family, um, had his own pest control business in Newcastle and, um, uh, all the area, and just, um, great guy, used to come up here whenever they visit did a couple of stereo installs for me and um, he used to love electronics and stuff like that computers plus hands-on mechanical stuff um, you know when Casey first long time ago so it feels like a long time ago you know said I'm going out with this guy I said what does he drive because that's my first question <laughs> and you know, he, she said, oh, he's into Subarus. And I'm like, are you sure he's a straight guy? No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> that was, that's my joke. Um, uh, yeah, Subarus, they're just like Japanese Volkswagens anyway. Um, so the, uh, yeah, so I thought, yeah, that's, um, that's cool. We'll have to meet. And um, we met, and we always got on pretty well. We're both sort of car guys. Um, of course, you know, when you're young, actually, that, that never goes away, actually. You just dream of having, you know, a heap of cars and you do them up and, you know, customise them to suit yourself and, you have your favourites and then ones that you wouldn't mind having and all all the usual stuff. So, hang on, I'm just going to spin this around, make sure we're still recording. Yes, happy days. So, um, so yeah, Bo, um, Casey and Bo got married, you know, five years ago, whatever. Awesome wedding. And, you know, um, Hmm. Yeah, it's very hard for me to talk about because, um, yeah, he was a hard-working family man, you know, made sure that um, he did what had to be done. Casey's got her own uh, wedding planning business and whatever, and he used to get in and custom-make stuff for her, and, you know, events and stuff like that be involved in setting up for her and always always there uh yeah so um 
Yeah, so less than a week ago, we, we lost him. So um, he had a couple of health issues that he hid pretty well. And um, unfortunately, it caught up with him. So, so um, I'm a general, generally positive thinking sort of guy. I like to um, look forward to the next thing and whatever, trying to constantly improve ourselves, improve um, our lifestyle through hard work, of course. And Bo was the same. And yeah, he's basically, with his passing, my daughter's now, um, yeah, she's just, well, we're all completely heartbroken, but she's absolutely shattered. And, uh, you know, she chose him as uh, her life partner and it's a difficult time. And the kids like Aurelia is old enough to understand that her dad has died and, you know, is asking for him. And it's like, it's very tough, very tough to, I've been down there, I only came back uh, yesterday. It, it's all, the last four days have been a blur because it was, we got the phone call from Casey saying he was in a bad way and we just threw some stuff in a bag and just hit the road. So it's a good 90 hour drive down there, but we just thought, well, we need to be there. And unfortunately he'd passed, they couldn't, uh, couldn't save him and, uh, yeah, so his body had just shut down, so it's like, crap, you know, we've just, the family, we're a close family, and Bo's family, and our family, if if you marry into our family, then you are our family, and it's just super hard. So um, I just want to make a short video saying... Um, you know, uh, uh, I guess the thing is when, you, when you're young, you don't think too much about life insurance and whatever. You just, you know, Bo is building a business, you know, as we still are, um, and just, um, yeah, working all that out. Tough times come, you know, um, things were up and down. It wasn't a consistent thing. It wasn't like, you know, just work for someone else and get all everything paid super and tax and you know life insurance is all part of a super normally and like both Bo's work for himself or as a contractor for um quite a while so um yeah it's just left things in a bit of a state and we just don't know what else to do except for just help where we can so that's the purpose of this video um uh yeah so basically uh one of casey's friends set up a gofundme account now i think gofundme has a bit of a bad name uh i wouldn't say bad name it's just like you hear of stories of you know people who have been backpacking around europe and they've run out of money and they need a ticket to get home and like just uh, um, just stuff that's not quite like this, you know. Um, like Casey's basically financially, um, yeah, she's just relying on um, her, the two families, basically. And um, it can't self-sustain. So, like... Uh, you know she has to move from where she is the house and um yeah it's all going to take time and money but she yeah doesn't have um unlimited time where she is so um i'm just asking all my youtube family uh mind you some of you already knew from because i put on majority of my stuff on facebook you already know what's going on and you have already donated and i'm super appreciative of that trust me it's a big thing um 
because times are tough. I would struggle to, you know, like, or we can, we can open our doors back up to Casey and the two little ones. Um, and, you know, because family always do that. And, um, but financially, I, I, you know, I don't have the money to say here, you, you know, have a semi-reasonable lifestyle wherever you choose to be. So, um, so it's, Casey's going to need a lot of help. That's all there is to it. Um, in whether she, you know, there was, Bo had his own business. Casey's got her own businesses as well. And it's like trying to organise all that, like the future of those, both of those is, is difficult. And yeah, so basically, um, go, uh, yeah, so they've set up a GoFundMe account and it's not something that I normally uh, go in for, but um, it's, yeah, it's a situation. Not, you know, I wish I was uh, cashed up and more well off so that I could just, you know, say here's a house for you or whatever. Like it's just, but it's just not that way. Um, so I'm just making this video about yeah the the help that you possibly might be able to give my viewers i've got nearly a thousand subscribers now and i figure if each subscriber gave a dollar that's a thousand dollars towards um you know paying things off down there like if she's got any bills or whatever and you know, making a move and basically the way the kids grow, even, you know, little things with the, 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 yeah. I, I don't even know. Like I'm just, I'm just feel like I'm babbling now, but I think you understand the situation. Um, so as family, you do whatever you can for them, but, um, sometimes you ask for a little bit of help and yeah, I know of several people who, um, know me, on the VW scene who have already donated and you know I'm so appreciative of that but um just this video is for my YouTube family in case you didn't know um I'm going to attempt to put a link in the description I think they say link in the description um to the GoFundMe uh thingy and if like I said if you gave a dollar everyone gave a dollar or five or whatever you know um that would be super appreciative so uh you know i i make jokes all the time about people who are influencers i think it's a, a bit of a joke um i call them influencers rather than influencers but um uh you know my wife made a point to me saying look if there's nearly a thousand people that have subscribed to your channel and I know most people just want to learn some new stuff about the bloody, about the V-dubs, but um, the, uh, uh, in reality, we're all people. Um, everyone's got their own shit to deal with, so I understand if you can't even donate a dollar, that's cool. Um, but um, if you can help in any way, just um, do so chuck some dollars in and i know i've often people have said that you know um i know gun gofundme actually take a, a percentage but you know because it's uh it just shows that it's a legit thing i think that's sort of it's not just going to be wasted it will be um well used for the future so um yeah I uh, better wrap this video up now. It's gone long enough. There'll be no editing on this, so the thumbnail will just be my face again. Uh, yeah, so I just want you to all know what's going on, and probably I won't have a lot of posts for a little while. Um, oh, well, I could show you this, I suppose. We could, we could do this. Come down to make this video. I might as well make the effort. Um, so I've, yeah, I've only been back for a day or so, just so I could get this car painted. 
Uh, yeah, so Mary Jo the T3. Uh, the bottom part's going in a different colour, but the majority of the car, inside all the reveals, the door jams, whatever, um, inside the panels and all the roof is all finished. So, can't really see in this light, but yeah, there you go. Just thought I'd show you. So, uh, yeah, that's a multi-stage pearl. It's a bit of work in that. So, I'll just turn this off again. Yeah, so, uh, basically the moral of the story is um, help out if you can. doesn't matter how much, how little amount, you know. Um, and if you can't, because times are tough, we know all about that, then um, that's cool. <laughs> so, because... Uh, yeah, yeah, like I, I would um, help out a lot more people if I was financially able to. Um, as as I've always said, if I won the bloody lotto, I think it'd be gone pretty quick because I'd just be <sighs> helping people out. There's not enough of it happening in the world. So anyway, um, love is all. Uh, and uh, we'll be back to normal video making handy hints and uh, you know i probably should have filmed that painting that bloody pearl paint job today it was a it was a mission to get it done uh, it's, it's four stages so um but anyway we will endeavor to make some more cool videos for you all and uh i just want you to know where we're at at the moment and um yeah cool beans notice i got the flanny on that was that was a thing that Bo, especially in the cooler, cooler months, he wouldn't be seen without a flammy. So, flammy's rule. Alrighty, we'll talk to you later.